Now we have some missing digit problems for column subtraction. And the way to solve these is to work through the problem in the same steps that we use for column subtraction. So that's working from right to left, so starting with our 1's place value column. We have 8 minus something and we have a 0 in the 1's digit of our answer. So we know that this digit here must have been an 8 because 8 minus 8 is 0. Now onto our 10's we have something minus 1 and we have a 4 in our answer. 5 minus 1 is 4 so this digit here must be a 5. But now onto our 100's it gets a little bit trickier. We have 0 as the 100's digit and then something has been subtracted to leave a 1 in our answer. Now we know that they haven't subtracted from 0 to get 1. They must have exchanged and because they exchanged we need to exchange as well. So that's 1 less 1 in front. So now we have 10 minus something and we have a 1 in our answer. So this digit here must have been a 9 because 10 minus 9 is 1. Now onto our thousands we have 3 minus 8. So we need to go to the left 1 less 1 in front and then 13 minus 8 is 5. Now we have 0 minus something and we have a 3 in our answer. So we haven't subtracted from 0. They must have exchanged and then subtracted from 10 to get 3. 10 minus 7 is 3 so that's our last missing digit. Now onto this question again we start with our 1's. We have something minus 7 and we have a 6 in our answer. Now we know that if we add 6 and 7 we get 13. So they must have subtracted 7 from 13 to get 6. That means they must have exchanged so 1 less 1 in front and then this digit here must have been a 3 because 13 minus 7 is 6. But when we're writing the missing digits it's best to only write the digit in the answer box so we can rub this one out here because the digit was a 3. Now we have 7 minus something and 3 in our answer line so 7 minus 4 is 3. But now onto our hundreds we have 0 minus 5. So we know that they must have exchanged but we don't know the digit that they exchanged with. So we can just put a cross through this box for now and we know that exchanging would have meant that we could put a 1 in front of our hundreds digit. So now 10 minus 5 is 5 and onto our thousands we have something minus 7 and we have an 8 in our answer. Now 8 plus 7 is 15 so they must have written 15 up here because remember they had to exchange here and 15 minus 7 is 8. Now to get the 5 in 15 this digit here must have originally been a 6 and then when they exchanged they changed it to a 5 so that they could put a 1 in front of their hundreds digit. And to get the 1 in 15 they must have exchanged with this 8 in the 10 thousands so that would have become a 7. So now 7 minus 4 is 3 and then we just have something minus 1 and 7 as our answer. So this digit here must have been an 8.